Hi, I'm Chef Raphael and welcome to a new episode of Baking with Chef Raphael, a show that is meant to make you a better home baker. Today I'm going to show you a great recipe, a recipe that I love this cake recipe because it's actually a muffin, uh, it's a mixed berry muffin. It's a hard cake, it's not soft, it's in between and with the berries it makes it perfect. For the ingredients I have some eggs, some water. Now. You can use water, you can also use orange juice or uh, apple juice. I'm also using cooking oil. The berries, in the berries here I have strawberries and raspberries, sugar and self-raising flour. To put the, the ingredients together, we'll start with the wet ingredients, whereby I'll crack my eggs. Uh, the sugar so we'll mix the eggs and the sugar and then I'll add the water remember I said if you have orange juice or apple juice you can still use it and to this we'll add the oil use flavorless oil I need 290 ml For the berries, make sure that if you have the, rose, the strawberry, cut them into small pieces. You don't want a big chunk of uh, strawberry, but if you have the raspberries, the raspberries, they can easily mash, so it's fine because they will just get mixed into the mixture. If you have frozen uh, berries, you can still use them. The good thing about frozen ones, when they are frozen and they def when they start cooking, they will become soft and mushy, but if it's fresh, it will still maintain that whole wholeness. So after cutting the berries, um, we'll add them, we'll add half of it. The egg mixture. I'll add the other half after I've added the flour. Now with this mixture, it will actually become Soft, like a soft dough. Now the first time I made this recipe, I actually thought something was wrong with it. Uh, especially because it's actually using 950 grams of flour and the mixture becomes really hard. So at first, when I first made it, I thought it was wrong. Maybe I didn't add something. But with this recipe, just follow exactly what the measurements are and you'll get it right. The idea when you're mixing the, the, this cake butter is to make sure that the flour is completely mixed through and you don't see any white flour. In this flour, remember I had not mentioned I'm actually using self-raising flour, not all-purpose flour. So the flour which has already the, mixed, the baking powder. So like I said, this is a very different kind of cake mixture. So it's, it's, it's like a dough. Um, but the idea is you stop mixing when all the flour has been mixed through. So this is ready. You don't want to overwork it. Remember when you, the more you work the flour, it will become more elastic and you don't want that. It's just until all the flour is mixed through. For, for the muffin tin, what I will do is uh, actually brush a little bit of the oil using a small brush on the sides and on the bottom. Now, um, now to scoop the cake mixture is I'll use an ice cream scoop. An ice cream scoop will give me equal amounts of the mixture, but you can also use a big spoon. Now, as you're using an ice cream scoop, sometimes it makes, actually makes it easier. When you use water, you dip it into the water, then scoop and then pour. The mixture will come out in an easier way. Even the spoon, when you're using the spoon, use the same thing. And then put them into the muffin case. Yeah, so for the mixture, it will give you about 24 to 28 muffins. So into the oven they will go. And let's see how they'll turn out. To serve them, you have to wait for them to be uh, cold. And then now uh, when it comes to serving, you can serve them plain as they are or add some dust with some icing sugar. 
just like that gives a nice effect and then how it looks on the inside you see the strawberry the berries are inside and then on the inside is actually soft i hope you've learned something make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, on youtube to get notification every time i post a new recipe also follow me on instagram facebook and twitter until next time i'm your host chef rafael goodbye